There is not a clam okay, in there. Okay, dear. I'd be more than happy to take him off the track. Yeah. You got it. Whatever he wants. Hello? Yes? Clam sucked. Okay, listen, you gotta stop. Okay, I... I, I, I clam I, sucked, my sister sucks, you gotta okay. stop. Because it's fucking bullshit. Can you hear that shouting? Yeah. No, no clams in the clams, no nothing. Yeah, there's no clam in the clams. Okay, no. whatever. That's why they ate the whole fucking thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Give it up, you can cook yourself. Yeah, you there got you it. Go. Cook yourself. Yeah, I know, because I'm the one saying this. Clam I'm making song. it up. Yeah, I know. Oh, the customer doesn't song, like it. Yeah, Dear, look at my salad. This salad is appalling. Look, oh, it's dead. Don't eat the uh, dressing. Huh? Smell like the backseat of my car. Spaghetti and meatballs? Eggplant parm? So let's say a little prayer for the entrees. Dear Lord, what we're about to receive, may we not end up in ER. Thank you. That is horrendous. Oh, my, oh my God. God. That looks like the inside of my grandfather's underpants. That looks like a placenta. I would not feed this to my dog. How we doing? This is horrendous. Dear, tremendous meaning you want me to take it away? You didn't like it, dear? It was horrible. OK, great. Honey, honey. Take it away, Daniel, please. You know what? If you like, the whole bit is on me. Enjoy. OK? OK, well, you don't have to be nasty. Dear, you don't like anything. You don't have to be nasty. I'm not with nasty me. at all, dear. Thank you. Wow. Is he always like that? Is he always, is he always angry? So, oh, my Lord. It's like they're scared of him. They said the veal sucked, the eggplant sucked, this sucked, everything sucked. So it's fucking bullshit. I'm done. I'm so fucking done. It's fucking bullshit. See you in a minute. I've seen enough. Oh, please. Thank you. Where's Daniel? You know what? Why don't you buy them coffee and dessert, too? So they complain about that, too. Tell them it's on me, everything, because our food sucks, because it's fucking bullshit. Holy shit. Fuck it. Oh, man. That was absolutely shocking. I've got no idea what this guy's going to do. Half ass. But let me tell you something. No one understands. In about 60 seconds, we'll find out. Um, Vinny, right? Yep. Can you uh, go into the kitchen and get everybody out, please? Get everybody out? Now, thank you. What's Gordon fucking Ramsay? We need everybody in the kitchen. Uh, young man, you can come over. Gordon Ramsay. That's it? Yes. You shut everything down? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. Stop eating. Gentlemen, knife and forks down. The restaurant is closed. First of all, I've just witnessed one of the most appalling lunches I've ever eaten. My guests couldn't even find a clam. The salad was rotten, and the dressing tasted like it was made 10 years ago. Um, when you attacked my guests, is that how you deal with customers? I thought they were very irritating from the beginning. I just wanted them to know. I'm amazed you can stand up straight. The size of the chip on your shoulder. So, well, which size chip should I have? Let me just ask you. As a fucking my, major My dude. dad put a million dollars in no. the place and I'm failing him. Oh, yeah. What chip do you want on yeah. me? No the chip. The restaurant's on. No chip. No chip. Because if you're not in that fit state of mind to respect what little customers you have, you shouldn't be fucking in here. OK. Period. OK. I've got a question for both of you. Do you want my help, yes or no? Yes, I do. I need it more than my life. Ladies, gentlemen, I need all of you out of this restaurant, and I want you to follow me now. What a disgusting way to behave in front of your boss. You should be ashamed. I'm not. Clive. Do you really want to run this place for another six months? Not under these conditions, no. no. I'm here to help you, but we do not have a lot of time. I'm going to give you all 24 hours to turn this business around. Because if we can't make this work in 24 hours, we have got no chance. All of you, get on your cell phones, ring home, and tell them you're not going to see them for 24 hours because the clock starts now. You, as a team, sort yourselves out and meet me back inside. Customers, get the valet and get the fuck out of here. How are we going to fix this shit in 24 hours? 
24 hours is gonna be hard to get this restaurant back up in shape. With the reopening in less than 24 hours, we are in a race against time. My team has installed clocks throughout the restaurant to track our impending deadline. I'm amazed that this place is still open. Have you ever read any reviews online? If you think I'm being harsh, uh, listen to this. Just spent $25 on a buffet and the food was cold. The staff were too busy watching football and socializing. Extremely disappointed in this place. I won't be back. Went in there for dinner and it took us, no joke, an hour to get our food. The waiter couldn't even remember what some of us had ordered. If you value your time, don't bother going here. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go on. These are your customers. This is not the way to run a business. Individuals that are here for the check, because when this closes and goes bust, you'll fuck off to your next jobs. For the back of the house, training is needed. <laughs> well, you can't tell me nothing. I know that, I know that. They need to be certified in a lot of stuff. Then it would be better. So what you're saying is that if the team were trained better in the kitchen, it would match your good service. Yeah. The clock is ticking. I haven't got 24 weeks. I'm here for 24 hours. And I need everybody committed. I need everybody on the same page. And if you're not prepared to put it in, stand up and go now. That's it for me. I'll quit. All the things I've done for Terrence, I thought that he would at least cure some more. I gave him a job because I thought that he needed help. Just see him just get up and walk out, it still hurts my heart. Clive, as the owner, you've been very quiet. Do you care about this restaurant? I care. I care a whole lot. You know, I, I don't even have five minutes for my damn family because I spend 24 seven here. I'm here five years, I haven't taken one day vacation. I haven't taken a day off because I'm scared. I'm here to help you and you need to start again and we build from the ground up. It's embarrassing. You're lucky right now to still be open. I'm not fucking around guys, what's going on in there? You know, Joe's a great guy, but he really keeps our hands tied. It's hard for us to make any changes. Two chefs in the kitchen, behind the line, 90 items on a freaking menu. I wanted to revamp the menu. Joe couldn't let go of anything. My husband's a very hard person to even sit down and maybe have a conversation with when it comes to business. Restaurants are run on a team. Right. The kitchen. He has a problem delegating authority. Doesn't seem to have a problem delegating alcohol. No, he doesn't. That's not much. So here's the bad news. We've only got 24 hours to turn this place around. So I need all of you committed because that 24 hours starts right now. Members of staff, get on your cell phones, explain to the family you're not going to see them for the next 24 hours. Joe, get your head in the game. Customers, you've got every reason to be pissed off. There's no check, but I want to see you back inside that restaurant 24 hours from now. Can you give me that chance? Yes. yes. Thank you. Guys, get on your phone. I'll meet you back in the restaurant. Hi, babe. We're going to be here for the next 24 hours. It's great. I love getting verbally beat up. My wife threw me under the bus more <laughs> than anybody. I, uh, I don't know where to start. What's the relationship going on here? Because, Dad, you seem to work in here, right? Yeah. If that was my dad, spitting in the food, you'd be, you'd be gone, man. I didn't spit in the food. You put food in your mouth, some of it fell back into the food. No. Tell me what your role is. I clean up and I help prep. Kennedy. He's a member of your team. Yeah, uh, he's he's here. Kennedy, seems to be a lot of bullshit in the app. There's a lot of bullshit, but it all trinkles from Joe Senior. That's not hey. true. You talk shit to me all the time. You're a glorified prep cook. 
What'd you say? You're a glorified prep cook. I'm a glorified, I'm a glor you know why I'm all a glorified prep That's cook? Because do we don't have, oh my God, no, stop. I don't think you have been working that hard. Are you fucking crazy? There's me and one other person back there and I've been trying to dig this place out of the fucking grave. To run the kitchen. Are you, you so, hire people? So you know I can't hire people. Why not? Don't sit here and act stupid. He doesn't have the money to hire people. Sit there and smirk. It's not a fucking no, job. I come Over back here, here and I ask here you. And I... fucking tell me that I'm not carrying my weight. Motherfucker, I'm wearing 10 hats and carrying the weight of everybody. You are so fucking rude and so ignorant. Everybody, oh, please. No, you're ignorant, you're, and let me tell you something. The staff knows he sits here and talks shit about everyone, the food, the fucking employees. How do you know what I'm talking about? Because tell people us. tell us. They customers tell us. Tell us. No, we How know, do you think we, we fucking know? Just like you do. Okay, hey, let's yeah. stop telling me, hey. I know this is your house for a long fucking time. I worried about your heart. Yo, I'm fine. Believe me. Listen, if I drop dead, the truth is going to come out. What happened to her? Hold on. Oh, she has a heart. What? I have a heart condition. Since when? Like the last five years. Okay. I want you to just breathe. Yes, okay? I know. And calm down, knowing what I've just found out. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing that. Joe Jr., this is terrible. It's my father. I love him. I've, I've talked to him before. I can't think of a more negative individual inside this restaurant than you right now. Playing those mind games behind the staff, humiliating them, talking shit at the bar behind their back. Joe Jr., I need to hear from you. I don't know what Joe, to do. I know what you do. Yeah. You fire him. It's okay. It's okay. I just wanted to make things better. And you are making it better, baby. He's taking this to make it better. Know that. We couldn't keep on going the way things was going. His son got this bad. And, he, and it's going to be better. But it's just going to take a few minutes. Rachel wasn't even born when I started to work here. She was just a little, little tiny girl just running around and behind her dad. She's just like my child. I'm sorry, I got that check came over here to help you and I'm over here blubbering. No, <sighs> we have to help each other, baby. That's the way it's always been. I love you. I love you too. Thank you so much. Ryan, <laughs> um, Teresa. Yeah. It's time to bring this thing into the 21st century yes. and more importantly, give it more of a cabin feel, but a modern cabin, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be beautiful, that, yeah. that boat. Yeah. That's a real boat, right? Mm -hmm. That's a real boat, real bass boat. Okay, good. Oh, my God, look at the clock. <laughs> I know. We're running out of time. Thank right, you, guys. Thank you. Renovations are underway in the dining room, but I need to get to the bottom of what smells fishy in this kitchen. This is something Charles needs to witness. Where's the walk-in? What is that? That is ground beef. Fuck you now. How old are they? <coughs> and what is that? Oh my god. How much catfish do we need? That's ridiculous. Jesus, it's all gone. It stinks. Just smell that. Just smell that. It's gone. It's sour. We don't put dates or labels. And why can't we cover product? She's a cook. I don't know. Rosie, when was the last time this was cleaned? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I don't I know. I just want you to tell me the truth. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm I don't you. know. You don't know. Don't, you don't have to get pissy with me. I'm not getting pissy. You're just telling me something I that you. I should know. And I'm telling you, I, I don't know. And I you're asked. constantly asking me. So have you ever cleaned it? No, I have not. Oh, my God almighty. That's, just, that's disgusting. It's a swimming pool of grease. Do you have any idea what would happen if that ignited? Yeah. What would that mean to you? We'd what be out of a job, yes. Out of a job? People no. would die. The restaurant's full of customers. This thing would go up in a heartbeat. <sighs> what is that under there? Look at the cockroaches. <gasps> it's like a cockroach duvet. I can't argue with that. When was this cleaned last? This is built up of three years of this three... This is three years? Yes. That's decades. 
Well, no, we no, 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 this no, is... no, no. As I said, we took these old fryers out. It were full fryers. Yes. To be disposed. Listen to me. I am listening to you. I'm not arguing you. with you. I'm not fucking. Okay, I okay, wish you would. Let's tone it down a little bit, okay? And oh, excuse cup. me two seconds. Oh, you can bullshit bye. all your work. What do you mean, bye? Dad. Bye. Excuse, Dad. Excuse me. Bye. Hey, Dad. Hey, no, no. what do you mean? You? Hey, you're going. Hell are you? You can give me all the excuses you want. I'm not giving you an excuse at all. You walk now. I'm walking with you. Okay. And my team come with me. Go ahead. Your choice. Whatever. We're going? Are you sure? Brian, Teresa, Ooh. stop what you're doing. Stop right now. Dad. Dad. You go, I go. Dad. Nick Senior, when were these cleaned last? We clean these every day. Wipe them down, flip them over. They should be steeped. They should be what? No, they should be steeped. They are wiped. No, but steeped. Every time we cut something on this board, there's cross-contamination and shit everywhere. Honestly, what's that? That's we get the we keep the uh, the shrimp. What is that in there? Ranch dressing, I believe. Ranch tartar sauce. Oh, it's tartar sauce. Yeah. That's split. That is gone. What does that say? January 28, 2019. That's 18. Is it? I can't read it. You can't see 18 on there. I can. I thought it was a 19. We're still serving it. A year old. And what's this one? That we use for the cocktails. It says a king shrimp. It's a black tiger. Fucking hell. Just smell that. They've gone. Not yet. No, they've not. No. Re really? Yeah, they're still fresh. I don't. That's they, they fresh. Don't stink. Oh, they don't on. stink. Really? Yeah, they don't stink. We just did these today. That's not from today. Okay. There's no dates. There's no. There's no best buy, finish buy. What's in this one? Maybe chicken. Yep. This was done today. I don't know why you give me this lies. I'm I... not lying to you. This is what I saw them do today. Chicken doesn't go that dark in 12 hours. That is not a day old, my friend. Nowhere near it. Oh my god. Cut the bullshit now on this one. That is green. How old is that? That's probably today. So there's the problem. You're just saying probably. You don't know. Fucking hell. I'm done. Nick. Mirabel. Let's see. Let's go to the kitchen. Coming. I just want you to smell that. Yeah. Just smell that. And then you look at me and say, it's done today. You know damn well it's not done today. That is disgusting. You need to take responsibility. Just smell that. Just smell that. No. No, no, you smell it. I believe you. You're serving rancid meat. I believe you. This is really bad. Losing thousands of dollars a day. How do we come to work and serve that shit? Zucchini and all oh, the peppers. God. Look at this. Spoiled lime. Spoiled lime? I wish that was in. Look at the beef. Look at the color of that. What's this in here? Chicken. How old is that? Throw away money away. There must be $5,000 worth of product here. That is gone. At least. Absolutely. It's all trash. Everything that's fresh needs to be labeled, dated, organized. Get it cleaned. Can I catch up with the staff? And would you mind going downstairs to the office and I'll catch up with you later? I would like to make one thing incredibly clear. I'm here to help. All I want to know inside my business is, how can we be better? Now, I'd like to hear from you. Tim, what's wrong with Southern Kitchen? Communication here is the biggest issue. We need to all be on the same page as a team. But where does that miscommunication come from? It's between Chelsea, Shane, and Kellen. They argue a lot when they get into the kitchen. It's just me, my mom, and my sister pretty much trying to do everything. You also have to take accountability and responsibility, too. You can't just throw it all on the ownership. In defense of the waiters, I was asking where my plate was, and then it was a, your plate is coming. Don't worry about your plate. Stop asking about your plate. They're sending food out on different tickets, so the waiters don't know which plate to grab. I didn't see Shane in the dining room at all. Is she always in the kitchen? Most of the time, yeah. But she's not a chef. Yeah, I try to get her out of the kitchen. They try to get her out of the kitchen, but then they don't do it properly when she's not back there. And what I hear right now, yeah, OK, there's a little bit of miscommunication that may happen. 
but you're also miscommunicating. <laughs> it's communication as a team. We're a team. We all sinking each other down. It ain't just Kellen, Shane, and Chelsea. You're all not communicating. You're too busy in the serving station talking and laughing or too busy at the hostess station chopping it up. Chelsea, are you saying that the staff are lazy? Absolutely. They can be. And then they can come in here sometimes and they can work their tails off. But we've all gotten too comfortable. We've known these kids for a long time, six, seven years. They're like our family. And that's how we treat them. And because we treat them like that, sometimes I feel like they get a little lax. But they're here to work. Are they? I know when it's a lot of playing going on. Everybody's getting too comfortable, and then when you say something to them, it becomes a problem. You know, I come here to work, and I come here to make sure the work I'm doing is a direct reflection of the establishment I'm working for. It seems in order for us to have an effective team, we need to all be on the same page. Owners need to be able to communicate in order for our teams to follow. Teams need leaders, and leaders need structures. It sounds like there's no structure in here whatsoever. Amal, can you go and get me uh, Shane, please, downstairs? Danza, would you describe this environment as a positive work environment? No. No. It's not positive at all. Why not? Oh, uh, sometimes you come in, you don't even want to come in. Sometimes you're ready, like, all right, we're going to get screamed at today. It's tough when you've got no direction, no leadership, and you're frazzled on a daily basis. Shane, in your mind, what's wrong with the place? Um... People aren't taking the job seriously, and they don't see it as their livelihood because they've been with me so long. We've always made payroll. Whether I had to borrow from my mom, whether I had to get it from a credit card, we've always paid them. And I gave them money when their families were down, loaned them money. So it has become a thing of disrespect towards me and my family. And then when I started screaming and hollering about it, it's like, what's wrong with her now? She lost her mind. Any member of staff that is being rude, disrespectful, why are you employing them? They need to work, you know? So I don't want to harm anybody's life, you know? You're running a restaurant, not a charity. 